Okay, now I think that's working. Okay, <clears throat> let's have your attention. In today's lesson, we're going to look at starting a presentation. Now, the way to look at a presentation is that it's a little like an essay. Who can remind the group what we call the start of an essay? Bob. What do we call the start of an essay? Introduction. Good. Introduction. Good, Bob. OK, so we're going to look at the introduction to a presentation. Now, what will happen in the lesson, we'll start with an explanation, then you'll read a sheet, then I'll give you a model, I'll give you an introduction of a presentation as I do it, then you'll practice with your partner, and then finally you'll write and work on your own introduction to a presentation. Okay, so as Bob ki has kindly told us, uh, the start of a presentation is called the introduction, and it's similar to the essay introduction. In the introduction of an essay, we say what we're talking about, what our opinion is, and what the structure of the essay will be. And in a presentation, we start off by clearly stating the topic, what we're going to talk about, why we're going to talk about that topic, or what our opinion of the topic is, and then how many parts the topic has, and what parts they are. OK, now there are examples of these on the sheet. Hayley will kindly give these out. Be careful, you need to read down the sheet, not across, down. For examples, down the sheet. Thanks, Hayley. Okay, it gives us enough time to read. What I'll do now <coughs> is read the four of them as example introductions. Notice that in a presentation, when we do read, when we do speak, big loud voice, gestures, and confident. That's how you want to speak, with a big loud voice, with gestures, and with confidence. Okay, so remember down the side here, we're going this way down. Start off with one. Today, I'm going to talk about cars. This information will help you fix your car. I'm going to talk about three points. First, I'll tell you about tyres. Second, I'll tell you about engines. And third, I'll tell you about speed. OK, I'll give you number two. Today, I'd like to tell you about dogs. After the speech, you'll be able to care for your dog. Now, the presentation will cover three things. First of all, to begin with, I'll talk about little dogs. Next, 
we'll look at medium-sized dogs and finally we'll look at big dogs. Okay, three. Today in my presentation I want to describe my hometown. Now this topic will be important because the 2024 Olympics might be held there. Now the presentation will cover three areas. First I'll tell you where it is, then how to get there, and lastly about the sites. Okay, fourth introduction. Today I'll explain to you how to make fried chicken. You need to know this because you have to cook dinner tonight. I have three points that I'll describe. I'll start, to start with I'll cut the chicken, after that bread the chicken and at the end I'll tell you how to cook the chicken. Okay, what you'll do now is you'll do what I've just done one at a time with your partner. So for example in this on this table Bob will stand up and Bob will read all four introductions to the presentation and Alexander will sit and look at him. When Bob has finished, Bob will sit down and Alexander will st stand up. On this table, Jude will start. He'll read all four introductions to Sissy and then Jude will sit down and Sissy will stand up. Okay, so pair work. One in each pair, stand up. Read the four introductions confidently, loudly, and with gestures. We don't want this. No. Speak confidently and loudly like some American guy. Okay. Go. Stand up, Bob. Stand up, June. Stand up, Gordon. Stand up, Al. Stand up, Christina. I'm going to talk about the I'm going to talk about the Second part, 
Okay, good. That gave us some practice. Let's build now on our confidence. One of the important aspects of getting a good grade in your presentation is confidence. And the way to get confident is to keep practicing. Practice in your bedroom, practice in front of your girlfriend, practice in front of your mum, practice, 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 and then finally you'll become confident. Okay, to build some confidence, what we'll do, we'll call the student out one at a time to read just one of these parts to the group to present one of the parts. I'll do one again for you and then we'll get a student out here. Today I'm going to talk about cars. This information will help you fix your car. I'm going to talk about three points. First, I'm going to talk about tyres. Second, engines. And third, I'll tell you about speed. Okay, Gorton, could you come up now and do the same there with just the section one? Good morning, my name is Gorton and uh, today I'm going to talk about cars. And this information will help you to fix your car, so it's very useful. And firstly, I'm going to talk about the tires. And secondly, I'll talk about the engines. And finally, I'll talk about the speed of the cars. Good, Gorton, good. Okay, Gorton had some good gestures. He was quite confident and he didn't do this. His reading was there. He looked up at you. Three good points about Gorton's introduction. Okay, I'll read two and then we'll get somebody else up. Today I'd like to tell you about dogs. After this speech, you'll be able to care for your dog. I'll cover three things. To begin with, we'll talk about little dogs. Next, medium-sized dogs. And then finally, big dogs. Okay, Christina, yo! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'd like to tell you about dogs. After this bit, you will be able to care for your dog. Now, presentation covers three points. To begin with, I'll talk about little dogs. 
Next, uh, I will look at medium sized dogs, finally, big dogs. Good, Christina. Thank good. You. What was good there? Christina had a big, loud voice, confident and quite clear delivery. Good. Confident and clear and loud. Well done, Christina. All right, let's go on to three, your model. Today, I want to describe my hometown. Now, this topic will be important because the 2024 Olympics might be held there. Now, I'll tell you about three main areas. First, I'll tell you where it is. Then, we'll look at how to get there. And lastly, we'll talk about the sites. Okay, Michael, let's get you out. Good morning, everyone. I'm Michael. And now, I will tell you about my hometown. And uh, firstly, it's a big important to you because the 2024 Olympic Games will be held in my hometown. I will tell you about three main things. First of all, I will tell you where my hometown is. And secondly, I will tell you about how to get to my hometown. And then, and lastly, I will tell you about the style. Good, Michael. And some good intonation there from Michael on because. When Michael said because, we wanted to listen the way he said it confidently. He didn't because like this, no. He said it in an interesting way and it caught our attention. Michael was interesting and we were interested in his presentation. Okay, four. I'll give you four. It's a bit of a strange subject, but you can make presentations about cooking. So let's do four. Today I'll explain to you how to make fried chicken. Now, you'll need to know this because you have to cook dinner tonight. I'll have three points. I have three points I want to describe. To, dis to start with, how to cut the chicken. After that, we'll move on to breading the chicken. And then, finally, at the end, we'll look at actually cooking the oven cooking the chicken in the oven. Ladies, are you confident? Yes. Okay, let's get you out. Good morning, my name is Stella. And I will explain to you how to make fried chicken. You will need to know this because you have to cook dinner tonight. And I have three points that I will describe. To start that, um, I will firstly tell you how to cut the chicken. After that, fried chicken. And at the end, I will tell you how to cook the chicken. Yep, good, well done. And some nice gestures there. Three points. Her uh, gestures were quite interesting. We want to look at her. What's her next gesture? Confident, clear, loud, with gestures. That's the art of a good presentation. Okay then, so the three sections of an introduction to a presentation. You say what the topic is, why you want to discuss it, or what your opinion is, and how many sections your presentation will have. It doesn't have to have three, it could have four or six. It's only because the size of the paper here, there are three. What we'll do now then, is move on to writing our own introduction to a presentation, preparing our own introduction with these three parts. We'll take the subject of your own hometown. Can you prepare a short one paragraph presentation introduction saying what your topic is, 
where, what your hometown is and where it is, why you want to talk about it, what's interesting about it, and how many parts your presentation about home your hometown will have. Let's give you a model. I'll give you a model to get started. Today I'd like to talk to you about my hometown of Portsmouth in England. Portsmouth is about 30 kilometres south of London. Now the reason I want to talk to you about Portsmouth, my hometown, is that Portsmouth is going to join the NCUK so students can soon go to Portsmouth University. Now, my presentation will cover four main areas. We'll start off by looking a little more at the geography of Portsmouth. Then, secondly, we'll look at the history of Portsmouth. Portsmouth has a long history, so we'll look at that. Thirdly, we'll look at the University of Portsmouth. And then finally, we'll bring these three sections together and look at why Portsmouth is a good choice of university for you to go to. Okay, what you're talking about, why you're talking about, how many parts your presentation will have. On the back of the sheet, can you prepare an introduction for your presentation? Good. Oh. Uh, be careful when you read your introduction that we don't want you to do this. Um, we don't want you trying to remember, try to speak it fluently. Today I will talk about the top, chart talk to QQ. Why I choose this topic? Because it is a good choice for your relaxing time. Okay. I will count three things. Firstly, QQ's history. And second, I will talk about its functions. And finally, I will talk about QQ's reputation. Things were clear. You labeled them clearly. First, I'll talk about. Second, I'll talk about good. And you use your, your keywords well. Thirdly, I talk about reputation. That's very clear. We'll understand from your introduction what you would be talking about. Anybody else finished? Somebody, Steffi, are you done? Yeah. Hayley, are you done? Do we, have, you, have you been out, Hayley? Have you, have you done it? Has Hayley been? Have, have, you been? have you been out here once? No? Okay, Hayley. Hello everyone, I'm here today to present uh, and to introduce my hometown, Sichuan. Uh, why I want to introduce my hometown is because uh, Sichuan is the most important uh, transportation and communication center in Southwest. And uh, I, I, um, I will start with some, uh, I will start with some information about the location. Uh, Sichuan, Sichuan located in the southwest, uh, southwest uh, of uh, China, uh, up on the Yunnan province and... Uh, Just the introduction. <laughs> okay, I will talk about the, the uh, have a highlight uh, some, import, some point about food. Uh, Sichuan people tend to eat uh, space food and uh, and uh, Sichuan, uh, there is an inter interesting <laughs> history about Sichuan. Uh, Sichuan is uh, the only one city. Okay, thank you. Okay, Haley was confident, she was interesting, and she had parts signaled, but she did get a bit confused. Where did Haley get confused, Sissy? Yeah, good. She got a little bit confused. In the introduction, just keep to the essential information. 
introducing the presentation, the rest of the information comes later in the presentation, just like in an essay, the rest of the information comes in the main body. The introduction only needs to be about five or six or seven sentences long. Uh, who haven't we had out here yet? Are we ready here? Are you ready? Yeah, okay, yo. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zoe. Here I want to talk about my hometown. And uh, why I talk about it is it, it's just because the history background of my hometown is numerous and it's easy for you to get a side scene there. Well, firstly, I will talk about um, how to get there and uh, by the different transpilations um, for, uh, to avoid it. And secondly, I will talk about the side there. And finally, I will talk about the special quiz in there. Thank you. Good. Okay, what was good about that? What was positive about that? Clearly. Fairly clearly, her pronunciation is fairly clear and she was quite loud, good, and she labelled first, second, third, she broke it down clearly. What about anything to be improved? Sorry, speak, speak up. Well, maybe she was looking at the camera, maybe so we let her off. Perhaps she should have said where her hometown is or what it is. <laughs> because uh, we weren't sure uh, where it is. Remember what, why, how many. That's important when you start off, make it clear what you're talking about. But not to worry, there were many strengths there as well. Who hasn't been up here? Sissy, do you want to go? No? Alexander, are you ready? Yo! Today I will describe my hometown Beijing. It is important to you because the 2008 Olympic Games was held here. Firstly, uh, uh, no, sorry. I will tell you about the three main areas. First of all, Beijing is the capital of China. Then you could go, you could come here by plane. Lastly, I will tell you about the Great War in Beijing. Good, Alexander. Good, good, good. <clears throat> okay, so clearly he said what it was Beijing. He gave a good reason why. He said about the Olympics, and then he explained that his presentation would have three parts. Okay, what could he have done a little more of, but didn't? Gestures. He didn't, perhaps, he could have used his body a little bit more. His speech was nice and loud. His presentation introduction was well organized, but he should have used his hands a little bit long, a little bit more. Remember, you need to think about your English content, your speech, and your body. That's the difference between the presentation exam and the speaking exam. In the speaking exam, you don't need to think about your body. But in the presentation exam, you do need to think about your body. Okay, uh, have we had Jude? Have you been up, Jude? No? Okay, let's get you up, Jude. And can you remember to speak with your body as well as with your voice? Have you been up, Jude? Has he been up? No. Yeah. No? Come on, Jude. No. Yo! Uh, I will introduce... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to introduce uh, the...